future sports. This is college football. We are in week three, and I just see uh, the public getting completely crushed. I also see a lot of handicappers getting crushed, um, but our channel's not. I mean, you go back and look at our plays. I mean, we're coming at them from different directions. We're not just taking, you know, the big marquee games. We're, we're betting tennis. We're betting everything. So, but I'm only releasing like one to three plays a day or every other day. So I'm not putting out a bunch of plays like all these other channels are. I saw like a, a few handicappers, three handicappers that are uh, very popular on YouTube go like one for 11 or something like that last couple weeks. So last two weeks, I don't understand how these people get so much, um, you know, popularity. I don't know, but we keep doing what we do. Uh, Buffalo, I'm looking at this matchup right here. You could also follow me on TikTok, Future Sports. I post all my plays on there. I even post more plays. Uh, I post there and I also post on YouTube. So, I mean, we got plays everywhere. But Buffalo, Coastal Carolina, I'm looking at this matchup. And Coastal opened up as a 19 and a half point favorite. I was actually leaning toward buffalo initially but then once this line dropped six points i mean I, I was late so i couldn't i couldn't get into the game but i still think there's some value there um they could stay close but the reason why this line dropped significantly it could be because of the sharps but it's also because of two running backs that are out for coastal carolina so they're missing two running backs and um that's why the line dropped significantly on this matchup here so i'm actually going a different route though i'm liking the under in this matchup i like under uh 60 possibly 60 and a half but you know buy probably buy it to like a half a point to a point pay like that 125 130 juice and i think you're good to go that's what i would do um i'm that's going to be my play but I'm just going to talk a little bit about Buffalo and then I'll get out of here. But so this line is 59, 59 and a half. I'll probably get it to 60 and take the under. That's what I, that's what I'm taking. Um, have a slight lean toward Buffalo as well, but I would tread lightly on them because of the value loss that I just showed. So Buffalo last week, they lost to Holy Cross. And I think they're a little bit upset about this loss. Even though they scored a lot of points, I think they don't want to do that against Coastal Carolina. I think Coastal Carolina's offense is going to kind of bog down to install because of those running backs that are out. I don't think they're going to run away with this game. I'll be surprised. So I think this total is going to stay under. With uh, them losing to Holy Cross, even though they lost this game, they competed at least. And, you know, they only lost by six points in this matchup as a six-point favorite. So I think they're real upset about this game. I think they're going to play real good defense against Coastal Carolina because um, they should have beaten Holy Cross. Buffalo should have beaten them last week. Uh, they were just lazy on defense. So I think they're going to be ready in this matchup. And um, so, that yeah, that's going to be my play. Coastal Carolina, on the other hand, they beat Gardner Webb in a 31-27 type of game. So I don't see them running away with it. I just don't see it. Um, so my play is going to be on the under. Have a slight lean toward Buffalo as well. Uh, possibly they could stay under 10 points, within 10 points or at least uh, around there. But I would tread lightly because the value is gone. So I'm going to go ahead and take the under instead. And um, under 60, 60 and a half. So that's going to be my play on this game. Uh, so I'll be back with some more videos. So comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching my videos. And I'll see you then.